Yo, yo, yo. Hey, yo, what's good to all my heroes and villains out there? You know who it is. It's your boy, LC. And guys, welcome to another episode of Heroes and Villains Collectibles. And guys, we got some huge, huge update news when it comes to Venom. And then, out of nowhere, this is like last minute. Um, so I just wanted to throw it right into this video. But, um, we do have, supposedly, maybe, uh, we may have the title for the new spider-man movie so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that as well check it out though before we get started if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe ring that bell and let you know when i got all types of videos and live streams coming your way all right so all right guys so check it out um they actually just dropped um the supposed title to the new spider-man movie okay and this is a, a big one Okay, and I'm gonna explain why. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, guys. There it is. Bam. Spider-Man, King in Black. Now, that's an important title. That's an important title, guys, because those of you guys that know, those of you guys that don't know why it's an important title, is because it's based off of this comic book. We have No in the King of Black Volume 1. Now this comic book is freaking crazy, guys. Uh, speaking of this comic book, I'm actually working on uh, story time. Guys, make sure to check out my story time videos. I got one video dropping every Friday. So make sure to check those out. Um, and it, it'll explain, you know, different comic books and stuff like that. But this one is going to be a big one. Because this is gonna be about an hour. Because we got about, we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna do all five volumes. So the video is about an hour long. So you got volume one all the way to five. This story is crazy. No comes down, basically takes over the, 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 uh, the, the earth, you know, the world. You know what I mean? And then you got the Avengers, you got everybody trying to fight them. He whoops. The Avengers and the X-Men, he whoops their ass, ass, ass. You know what I mean? Winds up turning them. And then, yo, this guy is no joke. This guy is no joke. So, it, yo, this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one, guys. We got no... King of Black, that's a very, very important title. So, be on the lookout for that, okay? Um, I'm going to be working on that video so we can do a, a story time. You guys can check it out. I promise you. The reason why this is big news is because, remember, we have the Venom and No supposedly, at the end of Venom, jumping in to the MCU, which means they're going to be in Spider-Man 4. I promise you, when you guys see this story time of this one, and you guys see this comic book, like, yo, make sure you guys, when I drop this video, make sure you guys check it out. You're going to be like, yo, that's the movie I want to see. Like, that's the movie I want to see. I want him to come down. I want him to turn everybody like, this is an Avengers level threat. And he still whips the Avengers and the X-Men. So, yo, be on the lookout, okay? So, it, I would love to see that. Yo, I, I went back a little bit, and I was, I was checking it out, and I was like, man, I, this is the movie I want to see. So, let me know in the comments, guys, okay? So, that's big news. Spider-Man, King in Black, is the uh, supposed new uh, Spider-Man title for the Spider-Man 4, okay? So... Comment below, let me know your thoughts on that. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video guys. We're going to go ahead and check out the Cosmic Wonder and um, check out the Venom 3 No Update Leaks. Without further ado guys, once again, smash that like. Let's get to it. 
What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Warren and the more I think about Venom The Last Dance, Venom 3, ending with Venom going over to the MCU and leaving the Sonyverse, the more it starts to make sense. And I actually think that there is a very specific reason that Venom and Eddie go to the MCU and I think it has to do with that Spider-Man No Way Home post credit scene. I believe that Venom and Eddie are specifically going to seek out the Avengers. Not only does this make sense story-wise, which we're going to go over today, including a new piece of information about a key plot point of Venom, The Last Dance, but it also makes a lot of sense if you really consider what all is going on. In the comic book, he goes to the Avengers and he warns the Avengers, but the Avengers already know what's going on because he had already let them know. Like, yo, this is the, yo, man, they gotta make that movie like the comic book, man. No lie. It'll be crazy over at Sony and Marvel Studios right now. And let's be honest, this is what we have been wanting. We've wanted Tom Holland's Spider-Man to interact with Tom Hardy's Venom for a very long time, and actually Sony has wanted that as well. They actually wanted that in the very first Venom movie, but Marvel Studios, aka Kevin Feige, said no, because he didn't want people to confuse the universes. And considering how poor the Venom universe went down, not talking about specifically the Venom films, but those other ones, Ones, Morbius, Madam Web. Good call, Kevin Feige. You wouldn't want people thinking that the Sony Spider-Man universe is the same as the MCU. But we have several reports from several different insiders since the Venom The Last Dance trailer came out that state Venom is indeed going over to the MCU. Venom The Last Dance will set this up and Null will follow Venom. And this is the one part that I thought was kind of interesting. What is causing him to follow Venom over to the MCU, over to a different universe, the 616 sacred timeline. Well, it looks like we might have found out why specifically Noel needs Venom. And it's actually not just Venom, but it looks like Venom might be the last piece to the puzzle that Noel is trying to put together. And I actually like this because it makes everything kind of make sense. Why Venom and Eddie would leave their universe and why Noel would chase them. It also makes some lines from the trailer make a lot more sense as well. And it seems like some other people really have this question. For example, somebody posted on Twitter at the Venom site said, seriously, what could Eddie and Venom have that Noel needs? And this is kind of playing off the fact that Noel is considered to be greatly, greatly stronger than Venom. I mean, Noel is a god and he did create all of the symbiotes. So people are asking, how are Venom and Eddie going to even stand a chance against Noel? But why does Noel even need them? What do they have that Noel needs? And Alex Perez from the Cosmic Circus replied to this tweet by stating, Web of Venom, Carnage Born Volume 11. And in this, we find a very interesting word, codexes, pieces of symbiotes that are actually left in the former host. In the, um, what is it? In the new Spider-Man, I mean in the Spider-Man, in the comic book, uh, that's also the what he's looking for, the codex. So he's trying to track Venom down in the, in the comic book. In the comic book, he's actually looking for Venom <clears throat> um, to track him down to get the codex. You know what I mean? So that's, that's pretty, that's, that's bugged out that he said that. Like I said, man, there's, man, they, this movie could be so amazing, man. <clears throat> if they follow, you know Marvel never really follows the comic book all the way through. And that's a shame. But, I mean, man, this is one that... In the comics, Noel needs all of the codexes so he can complete his own suit. Out of everything that I have heard I about Venom that. 3, The Last Dance, rumors, reports, everything, this actually makes the most sense. And Alex Perez has a great track record with scoops, and he is also the one who has stated that Venom and Noel will make their way over to the MCU in Spider-Man 4. Also, the insider My Time to Shine Hello has chimed in and said, you should know in advance that Noel doesn't get a lot of screen time in Venom 3. This is more of a tease for what's to come, further implying that yes, we are like going a, to be like seeing Noel again. However, like of course, Thanos. we know that this is the last Venom film. So we know Venom 3 isn't setting up Venom 4, but it could set up Spider-Man 4. But this story of Noel seeking a codex that Eddie has makes a lot of sense for several different reasons, but specifically, it makes Venom and Eddie and yeah. Noel going to the MCU so makes sense. The Noel, the symbiote god, creator of the symbiotes, creator of the all-black necrosword, 
basically needs these pieces of symbiotes he has created to create his own type of suit. He needs all of these pieces for it to be complete, so he sends his army of xenophages at him, hoping to kill Eddie and take whatever codex is left inside of him, and of course take the Venom symbiote as well. Now, in the comics, it's actually Carnage who believes that he can combine every codex to awaken Null. But since we believe for the most part Carnage is gone, thanks to the ending of Let There Be Carnage, it seems they changed the story to where Null needs all of the codexes to be able to essentially become full. And given that fact, it would make sense if Venom and Eddie left their universe, it would make sense that Null would follow them because he's not going to be full or complete unless he gets the Venom symbiote and the codex inside Eddie. Knowing that, Null would probably follow them to any and every universe. But also, if there is indeed a piece of the Venom symbiote in the 616 Sacred Timeline, like they led us to believe in the Spider-Man No Way Home post credit scene, then it makes even more sense that Null would make his way over to the 616 Timeline, because that is a piece of a symbiote that he requires. It also makes sense as to why other symbiotes are going to be involved in this movie as well, like Toxin. It seems that Null Null will require all of the symbiotes that he created to make his own suit. And there's a line in the final trailer for Venom The Last Dance that makes a lot of sense now if we think about this. Dr. Payne says, The symbiotes weren't sent here by accident. They were running. Then Orwell Taylor says, from what? And of course, they reveal Null in this trailer. So that makes a ton of sense. All of the symbiotes are running from Null because Null needs all of them back. And Venom and Eddie fleeing to the MCU makes sense on a lot of different levels now because if Null just wanted Eddie, then it would be pretty easy for Venom and Eddie to split. However, if there's a piece of Venom inside Eddie, a codex, then it makes sense that he needs Eddie dead. Also, in the trailer, Venom says, we have something he needs. If it was just him, he would simply say, he needs me. No, we involved. But it looks like some of Venom could be inside of Eddie's DNA. It also makes sense why Venom says, Eddie, I'm with you till the end. One, of course, they have grown attached to each other, quite literally, but emotionally as well. But it also could be Venom probably feels that it's kind of his fault. He bonded with Eddie and now has created a codex inside of him, and Noel is not going to stop until Eddie is dead and he has that codex. So on top of actually caring about Eddie, which we know Venom does, he might feel a sense of responsibility. But here's the really cool part. I think Eddie and Venom specifically decide to go to the MCU to try and get the Avengers to help them. Think about the post credit scene for Spider-Man No Way Home with the bartender. In the post credit scene, the first thing that Eddie says when we see him scribbling notes on napkins at the bar is he says, so you're telling me this whole place is just filled with super people. Then he talks about Iron Man. Then he talks about the Hulk. And one of the last things he says is maybe I should go to New York to see this Spider-Man. But Venom also says, yeah, this guy's been telling us that for the past few hours. And since Venom can access the hive mind, he probably most likely knows about other superheroes. So when Venom and Eddie decide that, hey, their world is going to be destroyed if they stay there and Null finds them, perhaps they decide to go to a different world, a different universe, where some super people could really help them like Spider-Man. Since that was on Eddie's mind the last time we saw Eddie, literally the last time we saw Eddie in a movie, the last thing he said was maybe he should go find Spider-Man. It would make sense that he would go to this other universe and try to find Spider-Man. And that could bring us directly into Spider-Man 4. And then that also means Null is going to follow them because Null will not be complete until he gets the Codex and Venom. And if they really wanted to go even further, that little piece of the Venom symbiote that was left in the MCU in the post credit scene for Spider-Man No Way Home, they could have that bond to Spider-Man. That way, it could create a codex within Spider-Man to where Null would want both of them, and that would create the team-up. Venom and Eddie and Peter Parker have to all team up to save their own lives, but the lives of their universes as well, and defeat Null. Honestly, if this is the plan, it's actually quite good and everything just really makes sense story-wise and it would finally tie up the post credit scene for Venom Let There Be Carnage and Spider-Man No Way Home. It seems like this was indeed the plan for Sony and Marvel. They just decided to do one movie in between to make it make more sense. Maybe I'm giving them a little bit too much credit but I really think this is the plan. At least I really hope but go ahead let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below if this is the plan.
Check them out, guys. Warren over at the Cosmic Wonder. Man, this guy's amazing with the news. Guys, comment below. Let me know. Once again, check it out. New Spider-Man title. Uh, let me know what you guys think of that. Also, uh, they said that um, it's been revealed that Andrew Garfield also is going to be in the Spider-Man 4 and that um, he's actually going to be in two more Spider-Man movies. So that's going to be bugged out. And so can't wait to have, can't wait to see him again on the big screen as Spider-Man. Um, and guys, yeah, yo, let me know once again the um, what you guys thought about this. The title, King in Black, the comic book, King in Black, once again. Uh, story time, I'm going to be doing the comic book. It's five issues. We're just going to do all five on one video because, trust me, it's going to leave you hooked. Each, at the end of each a comic book is a cliffhanger and you're like oh man so imagine having to wait a week when that comic book was first coming out you know what i mean you had to wait to the next um to the next issue you know what i mean but um we're gonna knock all five out guys so be on the lookout there and uh, yeah man i just wanted to be i promise you when you guys see that comic book you're gonna be like yo this is the story that they gotta tell in spider-man 4 but you can't do that story you can't do the no story without having X-Men and the Avengers. You know what I mean? But also word is that we are going to have no after um, Spider-Man. So no is not going to be over. So, I mean, hey, we might have no even after, um, you know, uh, Secret Wars. When everything reboots again, we could still have no. No could be that next big bad that we're still trying to take him down. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we had to work Thanos, you know? So, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So, guys, let me know your thoughts. That was my reaction. Yo, we have some good, good... Um, it's right around the corner. It's right around the corner. Venom 3. Can't wait for that one. All right, guys. So, let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, let me know if you guys are excited for the Venom 3 movie. I'm excited for it. So, I'm really excited for that, guys. So, comment below. Let me know your thoughts on that. All right, guys. So... On that one, I'm going to go ahead and end it here, guys. Hey, make sure to check out the um, Heroes of Venice Collectibles uh, Facebook, Instagram, if you guys want to check out photos of the collection, all that good stuff. Also, be on the lookout. We have the story time where we go ahead and check out comic book stories. Um, so, also, you guys can send, if you guys want to see a comic book of a certain character, you guys can send your request in at Heroes of Venice Collectibles at gmail.com. Alright, so, alright guys, on that one, this was dope, this was awesome, once again, if you like what you've seen, smash that like button, it does help out the channel guys, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, alright, so, on that one, this has been another episode of Heroes of Venice Collectibles, I'm your boy, LC, until next time guys, peace.